let's just watch it. And my understanding is that he is upset that I took a video idea from him, and I'm assuming it's the one in the thumbnail. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch it. This is a video that I don't normally make, but today I found something quite odd. An Asmongold video that recently got posted is almost an exact copy of a video that I made on my second channel. So the two videos from me and Asmongold is basically exploring a European server called Lucifron, which has one of the worst alliance populations out of any server. And of course just recently Asmongold did the same video. Now I don't think it's the end of the world if someone makes a video idea and makes it into something of their own. How I want to say one thing. I, don't, I honestly I don't really watch this guy's videos. I didn't copy his idea. Like, it's just, it's just not true. I just didn't copy his idea. I don't watch his videos, didn't copy his idea. However, the video format and things said in Asmongold's video is almost identical to my video that I posted a week before. So the video begins with me looking at the server list and then being surprised by the low alliance population of Lucifron PvP. So let's play the clips and see if you can see a bit of a similarity. So I was browsing the classic WoW server list and I came across something quite interesting. Look at this server, Lucifron PvP. Look at Lucifron. Wait, so saying look at Lucifron is me copying you? So if I say look at Lucifron, that's me copying him. I can't believe I've been exposed like this, guys. Wait, what? So, Lucifron, I wonder if there will be a single character on there. Oh, I want to go to Ironforge, so I have to make a dwarf. Yeah, I think this guy's right. Let's just make this character real quick. Wow, someone took Volti on this server? Oh my god. So, I'll make the only Alliance character. Yeah, I did it as a joke. Yeah, I do that on every server. I've done that like a hundred times. Like, yeah. I, I, I... Yeah, I just said that about Thalanos too. Yeah, I, I, I've done that on every... On every server. I always try to make my name. And then somebody took my name. And then I make an abbreviation of my name. Somebody's taken that too. And it's a joke every time. Guys, just couldn't give me a break, man. Let's keep it real. If my name was taken, obviously Asmund and Gold would have been taken as well. How can he even act like well, this? Well, how would I know your name's taken if I'm not watching your videos? It's a surprise. Wait, I, it's obvious that his name would have been taken. So then yeah, he goes I know, to that's Stormwind a joke. and decides to check out the auction house to see what items and stuff are available. So let's check out what's well, on the auction Can I say one thing? Like, this is deliberately misleading. Because whenever I originally uh, did that, I didn't go to Ironforge at the beginning. I went over to Stormwind. So if I was intending to copy his video, I would have made a dwarf or something like that. Like, so he cut it in a way that implies that the start of my video was the exact same as his video, which is not true. House. What about weapons? Like, all weapons. Okay, all weapons. Do mm -hmm. we go on to the second page? No. There's one page of weapons. That's, that's everything you see here, and it fits on one page. Okay, all right, what's on the auction house? There's 300 things on the auction house. 310 items on the entire auction house. Once again, another thing that happened in my video. So I go around and check out any characters I can find. Of course, this happens in Asmon Gold's video as well. Look at what do you think that you're gonna do on a dead server? Like, what, what do you think that you do on a dead server? Like, you go and you look at how many items are on the auction house. Like, this is what I would do on any server. I even did this before. Uh, I've done it on retail servers as well. Like, if you go and you look at my uh, my other videos. Like, let me see here. Um, let me go back to uh, Asmongold dead server. So, let's see. While server's dying, this is me doing it four months ago. And let's see, servers are dying. This is me doing it uh, six months ago. Uh, it goes back to retail first time in some classic release. This is me, yeah. I mean, like, this is just not true. Like, it, this is just, it's, 
simply not true. And, and like there are only a few things you can do on a dead server. And so obviously the first thing you would do is go to the main city, how, see how many people are in the main city, see like what's on the auction house because it's an indicative measurement of how many people are using the server. And then just look and see if there are any native players on the server. So if anything, he copied me. Yeah, I mean, and I'm not even saying that he copied me either. Like, I'm not even saying that because these are just obvious things that you would do on a dead server. It's not like there was any divine insight that Vaulty had that led him to believe and come to this brilliant idea of checking the auction house. It, it's just not true. Sad druid just jumping across tiles to pass time. Oh my god. This is actually sad. <laughs> so because we both said sad, that's me copying his video. Like, I, I really feel like this is... I really feel like this is stupid. And... Uh, this is so... This, this video is sad. Because, like, you could take a number of other things that are more specific. But of course I would say it's sad. Because it is sad. That's like me going up to the, the Grand Canyon and saying, wow, this is really big. Or me seeing the Leaning Tower of Pisa and thinking, damn, I, I hope it doesn't fall over. Like, it, it's an obvious observation. I, it's just us four. We're the only four people in Iron Forge. There's nobody. Wait, wait. Oh, look at this guy. He's level 38 and this one's 60. There's three people here. So I think you guys get the idea. Asmund Gold's video is remarkably similar to mine that I posted a week before. And yeah, Asmund Gold uh -huh. is a streamer, but this is his official clip channel on YouTube, and he runs this channel. It's monetized. No, I don't. I I just I actually don't I don't run the video I don't run the channel. Uh, Cat Danny and Daily Dose of Asmund Gold run the channel. I have no oversight over the channel. They upload everything uh, on their own, completely independent of me by him. The numbers that this channel gets is really crazy. Definitely the biggest WoW channel in terms of monthly I think, we can, see I, I think so we can see now why he's making the video. It just, you know, I don't, maybe it's a coincidence. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, this makes him the biggest WoW YouTuber as well. The fact that he is copying videos from me is a little lame. Especially well, wait a minute, like you just made the... So you think that I watched your video with your channel that has 3,000 subscribers. Like, and, and like... I watched your video, and then I decided, oh wow, this is such a great idea. I just... What I don't like about what he just did there is he created a premise at the beginning and then right here he just acknowledges his premise as being a fact and this makes him the biggest wow so listen YouTuber to what he says well. here the fact that he is copying videos from me is the a fact that he's copying videos there's no fact that i'm copying your videos at all this is an accusation that you made you provided a few examples of similarities between our videos it's like imagine if bell you were made a video about news and wow and then I make the same video about the same news, and he says I'm copying his video. It's completely ridiculous. And it's like absolutely untrue. Like, of course it would be the same thing, because we'd be talking about the same thing with the same subject. And then he just moves on to halfway through the video. And didn't he say, I don't know if he said earlier, he says, I don't know if Asmongold copied my video. And then now he's saying the fact that I copied this video. I didn't copy your video. A little lame. Especially considering that my second channel, Vaulty Plays, has about 3k subscribers. Yet this video I made did a lot better than usual. Mm -hmm. So this is probably the reason why Asmongold decided to make this video as well. Now, I'm not usually someone that's very precious about this. There are plenty of people that have taken my thumbnail designs and stuff from my channel and basically just copied it. It's not an issue. That's what you've done. Like, you know what? I've gotten through three minutes of this and I haven't insulted the guy. Which is, it, it's really... I, I, I'm doing really good, guys. I'm doing really, really good. 
So, but can I please say that if you go and you know what, after this, after the video, we'll look at Valti's content and we'll see who's really copying who. For me, it is what it is. It is YouTube after mm -hmm. all. The thing that bothers me is that Asmund Gold almost certainly watched this video that I posted on Volte Plays. He Do you really think that your divine insight of going to a dead server is something that I had to find from you? Do you know where I originally found the idea, actually? Is that if you go back in the VODs, and if somebody is going to clip this on YouTube, splice this in. We look at Ironforge.pro. Yeah. If we find a low pop... The lowest pop PVE server. Uh, okay, Scarum. <laughs> and Stalag. Oh, oh, Scarum died. Scarum was huge and uh, all the oh elements transferred off. Oh my god, dude. 98.8%. Yeah. With the conversation that I had with Esfond weeks ago, looking at all of the dead servers. So I already knew what this was way before you even made your video. And uh, just like almost everybody else, nobody knows or gives a shit about your second channel. I'm not watching your second channel. Almost nobody is. So if you're going to sit there and make these accusations, you should at least figure out if it's true. You can't, I didn't watch your video almost certainly. Like what, what, I, what I don't like about this is there's an implication here that this is like a smart thing that he thought of. This is like some kind of like, like a really great video idea that he had. Like, the idea is his intellectual property. Oh, wow. Look at this. I came up with the idea to make a video about a dead server. Like, nobody's ever thought of that. Like, I needed to see his video to come up with that idea. He just copied the key points of the video because this video popped on my tiny channel. It would obviously... Be because those are the points of interest. Those are the points of interest. Like... See, I, here's why he's mad. You can see right here, here's why he's mad. is because my video got more views than his video. And, and that's what it's about for him. It's about viewership. It, it, there's no integrity here at all. It's about viewership. Do well on Asmongold TV. Yeah, despite this, he still acts surprised when he sees Lucifron. Wait, wait. Wait, look at Lucifron. Wait, what? Yeah. Now I kind of wanted to talk about another issue that I have with this Asmund Gold clip channel that he runs. Almost Here we go. Here we go. This is it. So it actually probably had nothing to do with this. Here, here's the real. Here's the real problem here. Let's go ahead and move on. Almost half of the videos on this guy's channel mm -hmm. can barely even be considered his own content. Most of these videos are just him reacting to a full video that another WoW YouTuber has made. And these are videos that take a long time to edit. According to fair use, you can use other people's content in small amounts to illustrate, review, or critique something to the point where the content is transformative. I'm not mm -hmm. sure that watching a 20 minute Bellular video from start to finish constitutes as fair use. I mean well, even if it doesn't, let's assume that it doesn't constitute as fair use. Bellior is okay with me watching his videos. So e even if it didn't constitute his fair use, then it would be fine. Like a lot of the people who I watch their videos, they are completely fine with me watching their videos. Even Uber Danger told me, he tweeted at me, he's like, yeah, I made the video. You know, I'm waiting for you to watch the end of it. And so I watched the video in its entirety. And so if you want to have the argument whether if something is fair use or not, I think that's more of a legal argument, and I don't know really what side of the fence that's going to fall off on. I don't know, but I don't think that he knows either. Uh, the fact is that, like, it, it's very hard to say what really is fair use and what isn't, and I think that it's con it's contextual and it's a legal definition, right? Neither of us are lawyers, but it's just from his perspective, he doesn't like the fact that I'm looking, uh, I'm watching videos on my stream. And also on top of that, I think you can use another example is it what was the video uh the guy's channel that we uh we watched the other day um uh what was his name uh gorak so now he has 20,000 subscribers uh whereas like i i led a lot of my viewers over to subscribe to his channel 
whenever he had 5,000 subscribers a couple of days ago. And so if you want to say that, like, this this content and, like, what I'm doing is uh, it's parasitic, I, I think that there are a lot of direct, uh, d direct ways to prove that wrong. And also, especially whenever the people themselves don't have a problem with me reacting to their videos. Uh, so for uh, another counterpoint for that, is that with Taliesin and Evitel, whenever Taliesin didn't like uh, the community that my uh, stream had and like the way that it brought it into his community, he didn't like that, and he asked me not to watch his videos, I've never watched a video from Taliesin since then. So this isn't like I'm doing it against people's will or anything like that. Uh, so it, it's like this is just, it's completely, tr it's completely false in every way. I mean, if you tried that with mainstream media content, there's no way that they would accept this to be transformative enough for fair use. I know Asmund will likely defend himself by saying that this is fair use and his reaction transforms it. Yet if well, I don't know that. I, I'm not saying that because I, I think that could be true, but neither one of us knows that. Yeah, n neither one of that. Yeah, that's that's not what I'm saying at all. He is so confident of that, why doesn't he post a reaction video of Family Guy or episodes from some other big TV show? There's no way that he wouldn't get a copyright strike. Now well, the reason for that is because those videos have a different way of being monetized. Those videos are pay-per-view. So for example, if you're going to watch something, and, and like if you want another contextual example, like Train watches South Park regularly, and that hasn't been a problem. But with a lot of these videos, if you're watching a movie or something like that, the movie itself, you have to pay to watch the movie, which changes the way that people actually access and the movie's monetization schedule, and the way that you actually make money off of selling that type of a product. So the way that this is different is because the videos on YouTube are free to begin with. So if you're watching a video on YouTube, you're providing a free alternative for something that was originally something that you had to pay for. That's the difference between watching something like Family Guy or whatever and watching a YouTube video. This is a false comparison. The messed up thing is, like, is that some of the videos the, that Asmund Gold posts of him reacting to smaller YouTubers in full yeah. get more views than the original video. Like this review of Warcraft Adventures from Platinum WoW. It's really well edited and probably took a good 15 hours to make. This video got 43k views after 3 days, and Asmund Gold literally sitting there and watching the entire thing got 120k views all monetized to him. Thrall travels through the snowy forest and he fights these Ooh. yeti guys. What is, um, what is Platinum Wow's YouTuber? Uh, what is his Twitch channel? Because didn't he tweet at me a few days ago that he was happy that he, um, what do you call it? Uh, he was happy that I was like watching his videos. W what is his Twitch? Or not Twitch, sorry, uh, Twitter. It's pretty nutty whenever Asmongol watches your videos on stream. Thanks, buddy. So this is the actual reality. Uh, th this is what it really is. So Platinum WoW is actually completely fine with me doing this. And not only is he fine with, him, with me doing it, but by doing it, it actually provides a tangible benefit to his channel. As evidenced by the actual analytics. So this is a situation where everybody wins. So I don't think I've ever been in WoW, except for in Wrath of the Lich King when there were very similar Yeti guys. Mm -hmm. Which I find really yeah. interesting because Wrath of the Lich King was released 10 years later. Anyways, Thrall gets the axe, returns to the Frost Wolves, but Nazgrel- I feel like Asmongold gets away with a lot of stuff that is really shady. However, when he peel- Like what? What am I getting away with? I'm getting away with a lot of stuff that's really shady? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm getting away with stuff. Like, th this is a joke. Uh, uh, like, for one, I, I would say the way that I react to videos, I, I don't want to, like, rate reactions, okay? But there's a reason why people get mad that I put on a Bellyur video, because if it's 18 minutes, the reaction's gonna be 45. Like, I pause the video, there's a reason why pause champ came from my stream. Like, I, I spend more time actually talking about the videos and getting into them 
than almost anybody else. Like, even with this fucking video, it's been five minutes, and I don't know how long I've been watching the, uh, I've been doing this, but it's been a long fucking time. It's been, like, at least 10, 15 minutes. Uh, Quint pauses even more, and that's fine. But what I'm saying is, like, I, I feel like I add a lot of insight into videos for the most part, right? I mean, obviously, I have reactions that aren't really that good, of course, but for the most part, that's the goal that I try to make. And to say that I get away with a lot of stuff, like, what the fuck am I getting away with? What, what, what am I getting away with? I think the only thing that he's really mad about me getting away with is I'm getting away with more viewers than he is. Pull back the layers of sarcasm and irony, and you just look at what he does objectively. What he does is no better than his React channels from back in the day. Guys like Jinx and stuff who would watch YouTubers' videos in their entirety with minimal commentary to make lots of money. It's just a little lame. Now I know what some- Well, and that's fine though. Like, if you don't like the videos that I'm watching, and you don't like the fact that I'm watching videos, that's completely his own prerogative to say. Right? If he doesn't like that, that's completely okay. Like, he doesn't have to watch the video. But I don't think that it's fair for him to say that, you know, what I'm doing is harmful to other creators whenever there are quantitative examples of the opposite. Uh, th this is not true. And on top of that, just because you don't like these types of videos doesn't mean that they shouldn't exist people are going to say, they're going to say that Asmongold reacting to a YouTuber's video is actually going to help the YouTuber with a shout out. Now I guess that makes sense in theory, however if you actually look at the numbers, mm -hmm. it doesn't help the YouTuber at all, I think it actually hurts the YouTuber. I see that. I've had Asmongold react to one of my videos before and it pretty much converted into no numbers. I well that's because you had a shitty video. I remember your video, your video was stupid. Your opinions were stupid. Everything you said in the video was stupid. And I remember I was intentionally, I was more, uh, what's the word for it? I was more relaxed on calling out how stupid it was because he was another content creator that I didn't previously have any sort of a, um, uh, a any repertoire with. So I, I didn't want to go and say a bunch of bad stuff about this guy. I didn't really know what it was. So I, I took his opinions and I, I interpreted them in the most, uh, the most generous way possible. So the reason why your video didn't get a lot of popularity is because you had a bad video. Platinum Wow, on the other hand, produces quality content, which is why whenever my audience sees his content, they go and watch his content and they say, wow, this is really nice. We like it. All of the videos I've ever seen from Vaulty are just recycled clickbait. Why would, any go, why would anybody go and watch that and then turn around and say, oh my God, I want to subscribe to this guy and see what you're doing. You offer no unique insight to any issues in the game. You provide no original content. All of the things that you're doing are pretty much recycled videos previously from other content creators. And the original content that you do have is mediocre. So of course they're not gonna translate into views for you, which by the way is the only thing that you obviously care about because you don't deserve them. I think this actually hurts YouTubers, since if people have watched Asmongold's reaction to a video before the original video, yeah. then they're not going to watch that original video when it comes up in their recommended. Yeah. Since they've already seen it, they're not going to watch it again. Why would you watch Platinum WoW's Warcraft Adventures review if you've already seen Asmongold watch it in full? But anyway guys, this video- Well, you can ask the 65,000 people that did. I mean, just, just ask them. Video is just meant for criticism. Don't send hate to Asmund Gold. It's just unneeded. If you guys, it's not criticism. Like spreading lies about me and doing it under a false premise that I stole your video idea is not. That's not criticism. Like uh, technically, it is criticism, but I think that whenever you think of criticism, you think of objective, fair analysis. This is everything except that. This is not objective, fair, or critical analysis. Like, this guy is a joke. Like, uh, let, me, let me finish the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. This is Volty signing out. Let's, let's actually, you know what? This is really good. This Volty. is perfect. Let's go ahead and look at this one. These bots took over Classic WoW, and this came out on April 26th. Uh, let's look at Will E. 
Um, classic WoW. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And botting has only gotten worse. Uh, Black Lotus Market in, uh, in WoW. Like, it, it's immediately. Let me see. Botting and Classic WoW. Let me see. I'll, I'll just look up botting. Is there a botting academic in Classic WoW? So this came out one month ago. And this is your most recent video here. So if you want to talk about stealing videos. I, I think you should look in the mirror. Like, let's be honest. Almost, like, let, let's go through the videos here. So, five items, classic WoW, that make players mad. Is this the future of WoW? The rarest mounts in classic WoW. So, this came out two weeks ago. Rarest mounts in classic WoW. Oh, wow, look at that. Cargo's made a video about that a year ago. Wow, uh, classic WoW, everything you need to know about mounts. There's another one right there. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's see. Uh, are legendaries good in WoW? Uh, classic. Let me see if there's... Is this one actually new? Why you will never get a legendary in classic WoW. Well, that turned out to not be true. Uh, let's see here. Top five ranked legendary items in classic WoW. So this is... Uh, again, uh, five most overpowered items in Classic WoW. It's actually his own video. There are plenty of videos like this and ideas like this that are used all over the place. For you, yeah? Stop, he's already dead? No. Uh, he, don't grant him a victim. No, if somebody goes and they, uh, they, they, they say stupid shit about me, then I'm going to respond. What can you get from Classic WoW? What can you get from Zul'Gurub in Classic WoW? Like, this person right here, in my opinion... Oh, here's one about me. The streamer problem in Classic WoW. So this is clearly a person who is not biased here. So this is using my face again to... With recent problems with Classic community, what's going on with streamers like Asmongold? Yeah, he's going to watch it. I'm not going to watch his video. Um, I, Valti, I will do you a favor, okay? You don't like me watching videos? Rest assured that I will never watch another video about you unless you make it about me. Now, the reason for that, there's two reasons. Number one, obviously, is because it seems like you don't like it. And number two is because your videos don't deserve it. They're shit. These are shit videos. This is an example of everything wrong with YouTube. Like, you're doing every single thing. If you looked at a dictionary and you tried to find the word bad YouTuber, you would be number one. There would be a picture of you. All of your titles are clickbait. Your content is recycled and stolen from other people. You use the red arrows. This is shameless. You are completely shameless. And the reason for that is because you probably don't even give a fuck about the game. You only care about it for views. And that's why you're so worried and upset whenever somebody else gets more viewership than you do. You are a joke. Of all of the WoW content creators on YouTube, I would say you are the worst one. Absolutely the worst one. You provide no insight, no interesting commentary. Your videos are not funny. They're McDonald's content to be consumed and forgotten the moment that they end. And that's all you'll ever be. So keep making videos about me and trying to make other people look bad. Because that's the only way you're going to get views. Besides misdirecting people into clicking your videos. You're a fucking joke. Do we have anything else to say? Is there anything else to say? His Ian image is from Bellior? It's, a, it's not from Bellior. Let me see. Actually, that's a good question. So let's look at this. Is this the future of Classic WoW? Actually, you know what? Yeah, Bellior has used that one, hasn't he? Uh, wait, wait a minute. No, we, we're, let's, let's keep going. No fucking way. Huh? Look at it right here. Boys respond to 8.3 right in the middle. 
And then you have his video right there. Fastest way to level in Classic Revealed? Are you fucking kidding me? Seven crazy secrets in Classic WoW. Blizzard hid this? It, it's just, it's so obvious. The thumbnails alone are cancer. Look at the dislikes. Let me see. Light strike. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is actually very accurate. You took everything from me, as well. I don't even know who you are. I wish that was true, because unfortunately I do. Listen. I don't like to attack people or talk shit about people or whatever. But you can rest assured, if somebody attacks me, I'm going to respond. Especially if it's with a false allegation and fake bullshit. I don't like doing this. It's just that I'm not going to let somebody sit here and spread lies about me. Especially whenever they've done it before. This guy clearly just doesn't like me. That's all there is to it. It's practically defamation. I, I'm not going to sue this guy. Like, I don't, I'm not, why would I do that? He's just a joke. I mean, every single video idea that I see here, like, none of these video ideas are original at all. Like, I wonder, I think this is probably the only original video idea that he's ever done. It's not defamation. Well, regardless if it is or not, like, I'm not going to do that. I don't care. Yeah, he, if you want to talk about stealing videos, like, this is crazy. You destroyed his whole career? He didn't have a career. Like, it's, he doesn't have a career. Like, all of his... Like, he doesn't have any loyal viewers, people that like him or anything. If he did, then he would have a lot of viewers on his second channel. He doesn't. The only views that he gets is by misleading people in the browse section by clicking videos that seem interesting. Like, that's it. He doesn't doesn't have a career. This is a, uh, a clip that one of my viewers... Uh, one of my viewers brought up to me. And he was actually an editor. And uh, Vaulty, I'm assuming, approached him. So this is the first one. Under we under coronavirus. We're not, okay, there we go. This one. Uh, I can probably do twenty-five to fifty dollars a minute to start. He says, "Lol, a minute of footage." He says, "You want five hundred dollars a video? Uh, if it's a long video with a lot of editing, yes. If it's more simple, like the one you posted, the one you posted, yeah, no. That's why it's arranged to edit the video." He says, "For sure, do some simple merge and splicing for twenty dollars a minute." He said, "You high." And, and like, let's see here. Uh, we under coronavirus and you want $500 to cut trailers onto a voiceover. We under coronavirus. Wow. 